to the mayor saying flat out this 16 year old boy is a known dangerous person in the community who's been arrested time and time again for having illegal guns at this point uh, he is still hospitalized that police officer is out of the hospital this morning recovering at home after uh, police say that uh, the boy's gun went off and it shot both of them new video of that four-year veteran officer released from the hospital overnight to applause from fellow officers and doctors the cop is assigned to the 4a precinct and suffered a gunshot wound to the leg you see them being wheeled out of the hospital there overnight uh, he actually got up and walked to the vehicle himself so this morning he's recovering at his house just hours after this life or death struggle he was one of six police officers on patrol the neighborhood near Lorillard place and third avenue last night they stopped to question a group of young men allegedly up to no good as cops approached a 16 year old put his hands in his pockets and refused to show them that's when police say a tense struggle ensued and a single round was fired from the suspect's gun at first struck the teen's groin then traveled into the cop's leg at no time did any officer fire their weapons the perpetrator is a 16 year old criminal group member and our officer who was injured is a four-year veteran he was arrested at 14 years old for being in possession of a gun at 16 he's arrested again and this time he discharged the gun what is it going to take Police recovered this 9mm Sig Sauer gun they say belonged to the boy. It came back stolen from South Carolina, and the suspect is a known gang member, according to detectives, who was just put on probation last month for possession of a gun. They say his crew is in a gang war with another here in the Bronx. Uh, they are responsible for several murders of young people dating back to this past summer. Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Hey, first and foremost, I would love to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Reka Kodash. Hey, double honors uh, to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught us this truth. Uh, blessings and safety to the men, women, and children that believe on the name Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, and truth and sincerity. To you, I say, Shalom. All right. And I'm um, hey, as you witness, OK, uh, a gun went off during the struggle bet between a suspect and a, a police officer. OK, the gun went off, shot the suspect, came out of the suspect and shot the officer, man. OK, and that's the accuracy of the Lord's judgment, man. OK. And um, first and foremost, okay, you know, I want to mention, okay, that a judgment, you know, takes place right here on the planet Earth, man, okay? Because according to the Christianity doctrine, okay, judgment takes place, you know, in heaven or in the spirit world, man, okay? But that's not accurate, okay? Judgment takes place right here on Earth, okay? And uh, first and foremost, I wanted to grab this quick precept. To prove that, okay, this is uh, Ecclesiastes 3 and 16, and it says, And moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment, that wickedness was there, and the place of righteousness, that iniquity was there, okay? And moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment, okay? And what's under the sun? Planet Earth, man. All right, so this is where judgment takes place, man. Okay, and who's the one who issues out judgment? Okay, and it's not Satan. Okay, because hey man, point at these Christians again. Okay, you know everyone believes that uh, you know Satan gives out judgment, man. Okay, but in all actuality, it's Yahweh Shimei Al Shah. All right, the one that the world ignorantly calls God and Jesus Christ, man. This is Deuteronomy thirty-two and thirty-nine. Okay, it says. Um, See now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me, okay? You know, there is only one true power, okay, on the planet Earth, man, okay? And his name is Yahweh, okay? And his son's name is Yahweh Shai, man. 
the two superpowers of the world, man. Okay? You don't see Allah. You don't see Buddha. You don't see Jehovah. Okay? You don't see JC. Okay? You don't see Yahshua and Yahweh. Okay? Sitting next to the Most High and His Son, man. Okay? There's no God. Okay? But, Yahweh, show me our shot, man. Okay? But this is uh, Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See that I, even I am He. And there is no God with me. I kill and make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand, man. Okay? So the Lord is the only one that can wound, make alive, and kill, man. Okay? What you seen in that video, okay, both of those individuals were wounded. Okay? They were wounded by Yahabah Shemiah was shot, man. And none other, man. Okay? And that's the accuracy of the Lord's judgment. When you go into that word... Uh, accurate, okay, it's the quality or state of being correct or precise, man, okay, for a gun to go off, hit one person, go through that person and hit another person, the same bullet, man, that is called precise, okay, That's, that is, man, the Lord's judgment is accurate, man, okay, the Lord doesn't make mistakes, or the Lord gets who he wants, man, okay, and I always use this analogy, okay, when two dudes are shooting a gun, because it happens all the time, man. Two two dudes are shooting a gun, okay? And that bullet doesn't hit neither one of them, okay? But that bullet hits someone next to them, okay? And in most cases, it'd be a little child, man, okay? And, you know, people call that an accident, okay? But the Lord doesn't make any accidents, man, okay? The Lord gets who he wants, man, okay? Let's go to the book of Zephaniah. This is Zephaniah 3 and 5, okay? It says the just Lord, the righteous Lord, okay? The just Lord is in the midst thereof, man. The Lord is in the midst of everything, man. You know, everything that takes place, okay, in the world, man, the Lord is in the midst of it. The Lord ordains these things, man. Okay? Let's go to the book of Sirach real quick. All right, this is the book of Sirach. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 18, verse 3. Who governeth the world with the palm of his hand, and all things obey his will, man. And all things obey his will. Okay? You Christians out there, you like to throw up Satan a lot, man. Satan this, Satan that. Okay? But hey, Satan is a servant of the Lord, according to, I believe, Job or Job the first chapter or Job the second chapter, man. Satan is a servant of the Lord, man. Okay, but back in the Zephaniah, Zephaniah 3 and 5, the just Lord is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity, man. Okay, the Lord doesn't commit iniquity, man. The Lord doesn't sin, man. The Lord doesn't break his own law, man. The Lord is righteous in everything that he does, man. Okay, it says every morning do if he bring his judgment to light. Okay, let's go into this word judgment. Strong's H, 4941. Mishpat. Mishpat. Okay, it says judgment, justice, ordinances, judgment, act of deciding a case. Place court seat of judgment, act of deciding a case. Okay, and uh, let me see. Sentence, decision of judgment. Okay, a sentence, man. Okay, which a sentence is a, a form of punishment for uh, something that you have done, man. Okay. And we know that, hey, man, we are, uh, our people are, are wicked, man, okay? You know, here it is, you know, in the eyes of you people, you know, that police officer was looked at as a righteous person, man, okay? But not according to the uh, law of the Bible, man, okay? Now, it says, every morning, though, if he bring his judgment to light, he fell it not, okay? So the Lord is not going to. Try to judge someone and make a mistake and judge another person, man. That's not that's not how it works, man. You know, you know. Here it is. Uh, uh, someone tries to kill someone, all right, but make a mistake and kill the person next to him. That's not a mistake, man. That's who the Lord wanted, man. Okay, but it says uh, every morning, do if he bring his judgment to light, he felleth not. Okay, so guess what? If the Lord wanted you to go to the spirit world, that's what it would have been. If the Lord wanted both of those individuals in the spirit world, that's what it would have been, man. Okay, so hey, guess what, man? That's a sign of mercy, okay? But our people not going to see that, man. They're going to uh, use uh, 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 situations like this, 
to oh yeah, almost got took out, man. You know, um, you know they make rap. You know Jake like to make raps about it, like Fifty Cent. I got shot nine times and I'm still here. You know they they use it for bragging rights, man. Okay, but they don't understand that that is a, a sign of mercy. The Lord is giving you an opportunity to return unto him, man. But Jake don't understand that, okay? He said, uh, every morning, though, if he bring his judgment to light, he fell of not, but the unjust knoweth no shame. Okay? Here it is, man. You know, our people, they don't feel guilty for the things that they are doing. Okay? Our people continue and continue to live in wickedness, man. Okay, but guess what, man? Yahweh Shimei Shah is not going to acquit the wicked. Which means everyone who's living in wickedness, okay, you're going to receive that final judgment, man. You're going to receive that final judgment, okay? So, hey, man, I uh, hope this was edifying. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Baha Hashem, Rekha Kodash, Ewa, Ababa, Ababa, Shalom.